Hi guys, welcome back to The Wargamer and another bolt action painting tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how you can paint the plane tree camo employed by the Germans in World War II in its spring variant. And I'll be painting this on the smock of a Waffen SS miniature. Now I won't be painting the whole miniature in this tutorial, just the smock itself, but if you're interested in how to paint the rest of the miniature then you should check out my previous Waffen SS plane tree autumn camo video. Before we start painting our miniature, we first of all need to prime it, just so that all the later layers of paint will adhere to the plastic properly. Now I've used a great primer for this because it will really help with the mid-tones that I'll be using on this miniature, such as the browns and the greens. Now you can use any colour you want, but I would highly recommend using grey primers for this. The first task in painting our camouflage is to apply the base layer of leather brown. Now when base coating your miniatures, I would highly recommend creating a mixture of one part paint to one part water. Applying this to the miniature and allowing it to dry thoroughly before applying a second layer over the top. By doing this layering technique we get a really nice strong base colour without obscuring the details by applying the paint too thickly. With our base layer of brown completed, the next step is to apply some patches of green. And for this I'm using mouldy clothes. Whilst painting any camouflage pattern, it's useful to have some reference images available, so you can make sure that the size and shape of the patches that you're applying are accurate. With our green patches completed, we can now start applying some dark brown patches to the smock as well, and for this, I'm going to be using dark stone. Now that we have all of our base colours completed, we can now start applying some dots to the camouflage. Now I'll be using a mixture of different paints that we've already used, such as leather brown, mouldy clothes, and dark stone for this. The trick here is to apply small dots of colour next to their equivalent patches of colour. This will break up those patches and give you an overall look of plain tree camo. The final step in painting our plain tree camo is to apply a wash of strong tone ink. This wash will slightly mute the colours that we have for the camouflage and also flow into those recesses helping to bring out the detail in the folds. Applying this wash straight after the pot may be a little bit too strong so I would highly recommend creating a mixture of quick shade mixing medium and strong tone ink. The quick shade mixing medium will reduce the strength of the ink and also create some nice transitions between the lighter and darker areas of the miniature. You could instead use water for this, but it won't be quite as subtle as using the medium. And here we have the completed Waffen SS miniature, complete with plain tree spring camo. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you're interested in how I painted the rest of this miniature, you should definitely check out my previous Waffen SS tutorial, which you can find a link to on screen now and also in the description below. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more bolt action videos, do let me know in the comments below, along with your suggestions for what other miniatures I could tackle. And I would also like to give a quick mention to my Facebook group, The Wargamers, and I'd really like to see you guys on there sharing the pictures of your painted miniatures. And I'll include a link to that page in the description below. And finally, I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. It's you guys who make these videos possible. So thank you for your continued support. And if you're interested in supporting me and making these videos as well, you'll find a link to my Patreon page in the description below. So all that I have to say is thanks for watching and goodbye.